Well, let's take a look at your MT2 LT5 affirmation. I'm sure the 0% was kind of dis disheartening. You didn't actually get a 0%, but the computer gave you a 0 because you didn't have any of the final answers correct, but you did have some work. Now, on the first problem, I see the, I see the problem here. This is not an equation. You can't add 7 because there's no other side. There's an equal sign for you to write the answer, but you were just taking the absolute value of 3 minus 7. Well, what's the absolute value of 3? Well, that's 3. 3 minus 7, that answer was negative 4. Now, the same thing on the next one. We're going to take the absolute value of 3 minus 7. The, the difference between part A and part B is when you take the absolute value. You treat the absolute value like a parenthesis here. So you find 3 minus 7. Well, 3 minus 7 is negative 4. And the absolute value of negative 4, that's positive 4. That's what we're looking for in the first question. Now, in the second question, let's do a little review here. The absolute value of something is 10. You cannot move things until, actually, you're not so bad here when I look at your work, because you have you have 10 and negative 10, which is correct. What I wanted to see was 4y plus 2 equals 10. 4y plus 2 equals negative 10. When you make two equations, that's when you get rid of the absolute value. I think maybe that's what was a little confusing. So let's go ahead and do that. So we minus 2 from both sides on the left. So then you get the abs you get not absolute value, you get 4y equals 8. Divide both sides by 2, or by 4. Get My brain went to the answer. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Notice you had that correct. That's why I said you did a lot better than it seemed to be. The only thing, you didn't finish this. That's what it is. This is right. You minus 2 from both sides. Let me show that here. And you get 4y equals negative 12. And that's where you wrote down as an answer, but that's not y. you got to divide by 4, just like we did on the first equation. And you get y equals negative 3. There is your answer. Okay, So you're really close on that one. You just didn't finish it. Now let's take a look at the next one. No, 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 no. We have to get rid of the negative 8 first. That's what happened on this one. Because it's negative 8 times the absolute value. Well, you can't move things inside the absolute value. You can't, we never can do that. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to copy down the problem. So we have negative 8 times the absolute value of y plus 5 equals negative 88. First, you get the absolute value by itself. So you divide both sides by negative 8, because you're taking negative 8 times the absolute value. So then you say the absolute value of y plus 5 equals 11. Now, we're going to get rid of the absolute value. So at this point, we're saying, hey, the absolute value of y plus 5 is 11. Well, two numbers have an absolute value of 11. 11 in negative 11. That's where we get our two answers. So y plus 5 equals 11 or y plus 5 equals negative 11. So now we subtract 5 from both sides and you get y equals 6. Here we minus 5 from both sides And y equals negative 16 should have been our two answers. And remember, you can't move things inside the absolute value sign until you undo the absolute value. To undo the absolute value, that's where we get two different equations. Okay, on the next one, we don't make two equations because the absolute value isn't by itself. You see that? There's the absolute value of w plus 7. Get rid of the 7 first. So we minus 7 from both sides. 
So then we get the absolute value of W equals 8. Well, what two numbers are 8 away from 0? So that would be 8 or negative 8. Now, in the last problem, you didn't show any work, but I also know that you put no solution on this, but this isn't true. You've got the absolute value of u equals 6. In other words, what two numbers are 6 away from 0? Well, u would be 6 or negative 6. Now, let's go back and redo that. And also submit your work again. So you'll, you'll have a different version of your work this time.